Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with a Medal of Honor Warfighter quick tip video. I'm going to be sharing my understanding of the My Gun user interface, which is used to customize weapons in this game. For those of you who have been having difficulty kind of coming to grips with this admittedly complex system, I know a lot of people think that it's poorly laid out and difficult to use, which, you know, I... I do agree that the learning curve is a little bit higher than it should be probably, but there are so many customization options in this game that I understand completely why they laid it out in the way that they did. So uh, I've chosen the 416 SFODD and I'm going to show you how to take it from being an excellent long range weapon, which is kind of signified by the effective range uh, bar right here in the weapon stats in the upper right hand corner take that and maybe reduce a little bit but the ultimate goal of this video is to show you how to maximize close quarters capabilities so i'm going to be upping the agility attribute so this is really easy to do if you kind of understand this interface first up uh, when you're looking at all of these squares that pop up when you choose an attachment category such as optics you have all these squares that pop up, and some of them only have one option. Obviously, there are no, uh, nothing to switch between for the iron sights option. But say you want to choose the second option. Well, it has these alternate sights, and you may wonder if uh, those really make any difference. And ultimately, if you look at the statistics, the, uh, the stats are exactly the same between these two sights, and that's why they share this square. If you switch between them using the arrow buttons, you'll see that the stats don't change for this weapon when you switch between these two different sites. So that's basically what each of these squares represents. Uh, each square will give the weapon different attributes, but within a square, if you're to choose that square right there, this is the uh, low power sight square. If you're to switch between, uh, you know, actual attachments within a square, then the stats say th stay the same. So if you're looking for close quarters capabilities, well then your best bet is to go all the way to the left and choose the iron sights. If you want to go for long range capabilities, then you go all the way to the right. And that's how you get those low power dual sights. So that's kind of how um, these weapon categories kind of break down. So. Again, we're going to try and increase agility as much as possible for this 416, so I'm going to choose the iron sights. Next up we have barrel assembly. It's the same deal. Far right maximizes effective range. If you go to the left, then uh, it increases agility. And obviously I could go all the way to the number one choice, but I haven't unlocked that yet. So we're going to choose the second choice, the standard barrel assembly. So there's that. Now it's time for the muzzle. And the muzzle is where you have your standard muzzles, muzzle brakes, flash hiders, and suppressors. And as you can see there, uh, this doesn't in increase agility, but it does maximize stealth. And uh, the side effect is it does decrease effective range, but not by too much. And the uh, added stealth is definitely helpful when you're trying to stay under the radar. Receiver group. As you can see here, we have the precision receiver group. This is for long range combat. If you go all the way to the left, it reduces that effective range, but it maximizes that agility uh, for this attachment group. So there we go, standard stock collapsed. And then the magazine is purely cosmetic. Just go with, go with whichever one uh, tickles your fancy. And then obviously the paint job is very much the same. I like this uh, flat white or Tiger Cell Winter is my personal favorite. So um, that's kind of how all this works. I hope that was instructive for those of you who have been having difficulty uh, with this interface, but basically what it boils down to is uh, go all the way to the left if you want to do close quarters combat and go all the way to the right if you want to go for long range combat. That's what it boils down to. I hope that was helpful for at least some of you. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to do any other sorts of tip videos for Medal of Honor Warfighter, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.